is at the port, ready to handle the biggest container ships in the world, and it's going to mean hundreds of new jobs. There's a royal seal of approval too, as the Princess Royal officially opens two deep water berths. Coming up, what that could mean to people living nearby. Also on the program, we look around the new NHS clinic, ready to treat hundreds of couples hoping for an IVF baby. Plus, mad about Homota, the unlikely racer who's making a name for herself in the world of drag racing. Hello from Neil and me. Welcome to the programme. Good evening. First tonight, the region's biggest port has just got even bigger. The deepest container ship berths in the UK were opened at Felixstowe this afternoon by the Princess Royal. The £1 billion development could create 1,500 new jobs and increase imports and exports by more than a third. What does it mean to you? Well, if any of the clothes you're wearing, the chair you're sitting in or the television you're watching were made abroad, the chances are they came through Felixstowe. Well, our business correspondent Matthew Hudson is there on what is the port's 125th anniversary. Matthew. Well, I'm not sure what's in this one or where it's going, but I'm sure somebody here is keeping very careful track because, as you can see behind me, there's thousands and thousands of other containers just like it. Felix Stowe for years has had a reputation for being one of the biggest ports in the whole of Europe, and after this massive expansion, well, its future just looks even more sky high. The sheer scale of the new look Felix Stowe port simply takes your breath away. Mile after mile of dock, workers dwarfed by colossal cranes loading and unloading from some of the biggest shipping in the world. It's long been in the premiership of world ports, but £1 billion of investment has now elevated it to the Champions League. It's important for us because the berths 8 and 9 we have here are our newest and deepest berths. Ships on the world trades are getting bigger and bigger, and it's important that we can accommodate those ships both here in Felixdale and within the UK. The Princess Royal had a starring role in the official unveiling of the massive new terminal that's taken a decade to design and build. She climbed behind the controls of one of the largest cranes in the world to carefully lift a special container into place under expert supervision. The real significance of berths 8 and 9 is they're such deep water berths that they're capable of handling the biggest shipping in the world and beyond that they'll be capable of handling even larger vessels that we're expecting to see in the future. The new berths will also increase the port's capacity by nearly 50%, making it an ever more important part of the local economy. Yeah, I think it's something like 40% of the goods that move about um, go through the port of Felixstowe. Uh, and I, I guess sometimes as locals, I live in the county as well, uh, we get a little bit frustrated, we get stuck behind the lorry that's heading for the port. Uh, but this is such a hub, it connects to London, it connects to the Midlands. Uh, this is one of those places that really keeps the country going. To give you some idea of the scale of the development, in their American marketing, shipping giants Maersk boasts that the new container ships will be so big they could fit a basketball court, a full-sized American football stadium and an ice hockey arena all below deck. Back on land in Felixstowe, the cranes are so tall they could lift containers over St. Paul's Cathedral. And if you laid all the 3.4 million containers that Felix Stowe handled last year end-to-end, -end, they'd reach Australia. The celebrations continued with displays by dancers, human and robotic. They drew polite applause, but the really impressive machines were behind them on the brand new dock. Matthew Hudson, Anglian News at Felixstowe. Well, the port of Felixstowe provides 40% of the country's container cargo and last year was the sixth busiest port in Europe. It employs 2,600 people, more than any other port in the UK. But between Felixstowe and the neighbouring passenger terminal at Harwich, it's thought around 32,000 people rely on the industry for their livelihoods. Our reporter Ellie Price has been looking at what today's development means for the local community. 19-year-old Ryan has been looking for work for months. So news today that 1,500 jobs are being created around the port is something of a relief. It's been really hard because everyone's looking for experience and what they want, but no one's willing to give out the experience for you to work to it. Oh, look, my granddad's never been a and it's just sort of always run through the family. 
Um, but at the moment I worked in social work recruitment and I'll, it'll just be interesting to get into it as well. With everything that's going on in the world at the moment, you know, you do watch the news and you think, you know, it can be quite doom and gloom, but I like to think that, you know, hopefully, Felix Stowe, we are going to be lucky and we're going to ride the storm and I think sort of there are positive aspects coming through already. There's no doubt the port is ingrained in the local community. It's supported various projects in schools around the town. Corston Junior School received more than £2,000 a few years ago to upgrade its library. It is actually one of the most um, exciting bits of the school. It's got so many different books that many children will enjoy reading. But not everyone is greeting the expansion as such good news. Some local people saying more going in and out of Felixstowe will have to go somewhere. And that means greater demand on local infrastructure. Local councillor Brian Frost says neither the roads nor the railways are ready for the extra capacity. The containers that come into the port have to get out either by road or by rail. Clearly rail is an environmentally more friendly option, but the capacity of this line is almost at breaking point at present. And for more of the traffic to come through by rail, we really do need some expansion of this line between here and Ipswich. There's little doubt expansion is good news for Felixstowe and the surrounding area in the long term. And even people anticipating teething problems, except the future of the community is more secure this evening. Ellie Price, Anglia News, Felixstowe.